Bucky Fire Department relies on private ambulance companies to help cover 911 calls. Earlier this year, the number of companies helping the city dropped from three to two. That put pressure on a system that was already over capacity. The I team got a behind the scenes look at a unique solution to this problem. Here's our Sean Gallagher. Seeing an increased 911 call load and one less provider, the Milwaukee Fire Department had to do something to help cover emergency calls. The solution? combining forces with the private ambulance companies. They're going to run out of the firehouse just like the fire department does. One of ours, one of theirs on their ambulance. Bell is going to be staffing three, Curtis will be staffing one. Effectively double that staff, which doubles the availability of resources in the community as a whole. It's a first of its kind fix, so we rode along here to find out. It was as if I was working with someone who I had worked with for months. The house is different, but the calls are the same. Two private ambulance companies, Curtis and Bell, now cover parts of the city previously served by Paratech Ambulance, who left the city's 911 agreement earlier this year. The city's 911 system is set up so private ambulance companies handle less severe 911 calls. They're called basic life support. So the fire department paramedics can handle the more life-threatening calls called advanced life support. But in order to take on Paratech's region while managing their own, Curtis and Bell need time to recruit and expand their staff. It's been a multiple year process that will extend well into next year. The I-Team rode along with Assistant Fire Chief Joshua Parrish to see these crews in action. Private EMTs will work alongside MFD personnel for at least the next six months, while long-term staffing solutions can develop. But it comes to, you know, what are some of those answers you can implement right now? And this is one of those right now answers. This is a historical thing to happen, so I want to see it through. Bell Ambulance Deputy Operations Manager Adam Kuss and EMT Quinton Nation are two of the first to work out of a Milwaukee firehouse in this partnership. It's been uh, something new and something that's uh, rewarding and a great experience. At the end of the day, we're all still doing the same job. We're still here to help people. It's only a temporary solution while they navigate a nationwide EMT staffing shortage. A shortage that's led to recent underachievements in response times. Fire Chief Aaron Lipsky believes these are major steps towards improving that response. The partnership allows them to be active, really active participants in this solution. It is definitely a show of their commitment to, to help solve this problem. The fire department's also training EMTs at the academy to work for the private ambulance companies, a potential long-term solution to the shortage. The path forward has not been clear for very long in this process. Those willing to help already answering the call. I was watching a news story in 2019, I believe, about a shortage of EMTs, just like how the system in Milwaukee was just kind of rocky. So right after then, I got in school and then called Bell. In addition to personnel help, the city will be paying a subsidy for each 911 call to Bell and Curtis. At the state level, lawmakers increased the Medicaid reimbursement rate for the first time in several years. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher. Chief Lipsky tells the I-Team this partnership is one step toward fixing a deeper problem in the city of Milwaukee. You'll find much more of our interview with the chief at our website. Find this story at TMJ4.com.